What's going on everybody? So today we're going to be making an image gallery application in React.js. What it's going to have is it'll be a modal that whenever you click on an image, it'll expand it. When you hover on an image, it'll expand that version too. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so first things first is we're going to create a React app. So go ahead and do npx create React app. I'm going to call it image gallery. And we won't be installing any libraries or any npm installs or anything like that. It'll just be a regular React.js file, completely made in React.js. All right, so once you have React installed, we're gonna go ahead and open up source and inside of our app.js file, I am going to get rid of the logo because we don't need that. I'm going to get rid of all of this stuff in here because we don't need that either. We're doing h3 that says yellow. Let's see if that works, that works, cool. And I'm going to edit this, so I'm going to do class app extends component. Component, there we go. And I'm going to do a, whoops, oops, I'm going to do a, was that one? No, it was not. It was this one. There we go. I'm going to do a render, render, all right, that one, put it right down here. Control Shift P. All right, so for our next step, what we're going to do is we're going to create a folder called components and inside of there a file called images.js. And you can just straight up copy all the code from app.js and put it in here, but change the um, app to images. And once you got that done, we're going to go ahead and import it into app.js. So it'll be import images from dot slash components slash images. All right. And I'm gonna just take this code out. I'm gonna put into images just like this. Do one of those, do some of that, do some of that, and it should work. It works. Cool. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to create a constructor. Constructor props props super props. And so we're gonna do this dot state is equal to what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Um so we need an image URL. We're gonna set that to image URL. We're gonna set it to an empty string. Image array. Uh, image. I'm gonna call it image URL array because that's what it's gonna be. It'll be an empty array for now because we need to find images. Um, and we're gonna do a show modal modal set false. And I'm also going to do a pop image URL. So. Don't worry about the last two for now. That's not a big deal. I'm just gonna set it to an empty string for now. So inside of the image URL array, go ahead and find any image that you want, preferably around like 10 maybe, and in strings, just put them in there. I'm gonna do that in the next step. So once you get that done, then we'll go ahead and move on. All right, so for this step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and import all of our images. So I just found a bunch of images from the interwebs. I'm gonna put them in, Control Shift P to make it clean. There we go. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna render them to the front end just to see what they look like. We're not gonna worry about styling or anything right now, but just let's just render them. So it would be let's create a variable let image URL array equal to this dot state dot image URL array. This is just to make it easier whenever we have to access it. Um, so it'd be const images is equal to image URL array dot map. And I'm going to do I'm gonna use a parameter of URL because since we are grabbing the URL of it, error function curly braces. I'm going to return an image tag, and inside of the image tag, we are going to whoops have a class name whoops class name equal to single image, and we're going to do a source that's equivalent to URL. Since we now that we've mapped it all the array, we're gonna go ahead and print them off. So let's get rid of the yellows, and I'm gonna do a images. That should give us what we want. All the images printing out. There we go. Perfect. Technically, we made an image gallery, but this is not good enough. And also, let's get rid of this. So we're gonna do URL and index, and I'm gonna put in. Is it in here? I can't even remember where to put it index uh, key is equal to index. I think that will fix the error. Does it fix the error? That fixes the error. Perfect. All right, so now we're gonna do some CSS to make this look a lot better. 
and the CSS file will be, oh, the code will be in the comments below or the description below, either one, or it might just be a separate link. I can't even remember what I'm going to do. So import uh, dot slash images dot CSS. And I'm going to make that right here. So touch images dot CSS. And inside of there, I'm just going to copy all of the CSS for that. There's not a lot, but at the same time, it's a lot. That doesn't make any sense, but yeah. Save that and save this. That should work. Okay, so now it's more indented, and when you hover it, it expands. The expansion's happening. That's not what we want 100%, though. That's not, that's not exactly what it is. And plus, it's also zoomed out. So let's zoom in. Whoops. Whoops. All right, let's zoom in 100%. And look, it also, um, the hell's the word? Refactors? No, it, 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 it's, it's, I can't remember the word for this. It moves well with the, it's responsive. There we go. Okay. And we're also going to create inside of the app.css. There's also some CSS for that that I made. Copy it. And I'm going to just I'll post it in there, just like this. And we add some color to it. Now it looks a lot better. Darn it, why does it do both? Okay. <clears throat> so now it's looking a lot better. All right, so now we're gonna make a couple functions that's gonna be responsible for handling the submission of adding a new image to our gallery and be able to, maybe I just hand, handle the submission of the images to the gallery. So what it's gonna be is image submitter and Set it there. I'm gonna actually add a parameter of e. I'm gonna do e dot prevent default since there will be a button. We don't want it to refresh. Uh, let image was it image? Let's call it image URL array. We equal to this dot state dot image URL array. And from there, I'm going to do image image URLs array dot push this does date dot image URL just image URL not the actual array and so once we got that done we're going to do set the state so this dot set state okay, image URL URLs array was the URLs array yep yeah, image URLs array to image URL array image URLs array oh well, the same name same thing no biggie all right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another function called handle link change. I'm gonna set a parameter of e to that, e short for event, and instead of that, I'm gonna do e dot prevent default, and I'm also gonna do this dot set state of image URL e dot target dot value. All right. So that basically is going to handle all the submission of adding a new image to our uh, image you image you are array right right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a form right above this, and I'm going to do form with a and I always hate when that pops up. Form on submit this dot image submitter sub. Submitter, there we go. And so there I'm gonna add an input oops, an input with a button. I should make sure that that works. Does it work? Does it work? Okay, there we go, we have it. Also the, this error is gonna pop up too, right? Where like when you expand an image, it moves weirdly to that side. So we'll fix that up. It's an old biggie. Um yeah, so for the input, we're going to do a Type is equal to text, and we're going to do a placeholder of please insert image URL, and we're going to do on change. This will be this dot handle link change, and this is just going to be simple. Type is equal to submit, and class name is equal to submit button. Submit image. I'm right, gonna save that. That should be what I want. Perfect. Let's try and put an image in. So I'm gonna copy this. 
put her in there, see if that works. Scroll all the way to the bottom, and there we go. We've added an image to our image gallery. We're almost done. Good job. Alrighty then, so now what we're going to do is whenever we uh, hover over an image and we click it, we want to open up a modal that shows a bigger, more expanded version of the actual image. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a touch. Uh, let's call it popup.js. And inside of there, I'm just going to copy all the code from app.js and I'm going to paste it in there so we don't have to spend extra time on doing that. And I'm going to get rid of the app.js, app.css, and I'm going to do image.css, images.css. Get rid of images, and from there, what are we going to do? Ah, okay, so this is going to be responsible for passing down props from our image images.js file. And so when you do pass them down, you can click the actual images, it'll invoke this file, this component, and allow us to do what we want with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a div with a class name. This is for the CSS also. Class name pop up image. And up here, I'm going to get rid of this app. I'm going to do a pop up parent. And inside of there, we're going to do a button. I'm just going to do it's going to be X. Just, just close it. And inside of there, we're going to do a class name. So class name is equal to image closing button CSS and this is where one of our pa uh, props will be passed down so we'll call it on click on click the function this dot props dot close pop up all right so that's going to be responsible for closing the pop up when we do eventually open one up and right down here we're going to do an image of source this dot props dot pop image URL. So now that we've passed on the props, we're going to go back into our app.js file. No, not app.js file. Sorry, in our. All right, so now that we pat received the, pop, uh, the props from images.js, we're going to go ahead and create the function that's going to be responsible for passing them down to pop up JS. So what's going to be happening is we're going to call a function called handle pop up. I'm going to give it the parameters of URL. So this is for the individual image. So when you click on that image, it pops up only that image and not every single image that we possibly have. So we this dot set state. And this is where our show modal state comes in. So show modal is not this dot state dot show modal. The other one, uh, for, for the next uh, state, we're going to do pop up image URL. We're going to do a parameter for URL. So it only pops up that specific URL. All right, so down here underneath the images, what we're going to do now is we are going to make a tier linear operator, this.state.showModal. That's going to be responsible for showing the popped up modal and passing down the props to pop up of JS. Hopefully that made sense. If it didn't, sorry. <laughs> so pop up, just do that. Do you even import pop up here? Oh, I did not even import it. Nah, what am I doing? All right, so import import pop up from dot slash pop up. There we go. So once we've imported pop up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass down the props, the exact same names that we have up up in there. So it's pop up image URL is equal to this dot state dot pop up image URL. The next one was close close pop up is equal to this dot handle pop up. Cool. Now why is it giving me this error? Oh right, I forgot to, I forgot to give it the other thing. If it's not that, then do that. So there we go. If I click it, it doesn't do anything. That's not good. Oh wait, I also have to pass it into there too. So it'll be on click is equal to uh, do some of that, do some of this arrow function, and which I think is a handle. This dot handle pop up, give the parameter URL. That should work now. So on click, there we go. So now we click it, we get a more expanded version, or in this case, not as expanded. We should also fix that too. 
But uh, if I were to do this, and I click that, now we have a bigger version, and we basically have a image gallery made. Good job, everybody. That was, uh, that was the first ever project that I ever made on YouTube. So let's see if we can still import images into there. Ah, come on. Come on. There you go. I'm going to take a picture of uh, this one. Thank you, Tuan Stewart. Save it. There we go. I'm going to add it as many times as I want because I can. There we go. And I can just click it. it sort of shows a modal. This way of making a modal is a lot worse than what we could originally do where we go to Ant Design or any other library and we just pick a modal out from there. But this was a surefire a way of showing that you can make a model on your own as opposed to having to rely on libraries every single day. Cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned lots. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.